Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, we're going to be analyzing and filling out a map based on the latest polls from all 50 states. Now, last video, last time I had done one of these polling uh, videos on the maps, I had used 538. So we're going to change it up today. We're going to use uh, Real Clear Politics and we're going to use DDHQ to fill out this map. We're going to mostly use Real Clear Politics and then for the states that, sorry, we're going to mostly use DDHQ. And for the states that we do have real clear politics aggregates, which would me be the main states, the main six around six, seven swing states, we're going to be using those aggregates and we're going to be doing the maps mostly from the uh, candidates, including RFK, if we do have those maps on those swing states but then the rest of the states we're going to use that regular that regular aggregate that we do have on ddh qq since there is not much to polling available before we get started on today's video please subscribe like and comment down in the section below your feedback is greatly appreciated we're at 700 around 700 subscribers we're coming really close to that 1000 mark so your subscription would definitely mean a lot to me and my channel Thank you for watching and let's get started. We're gonna go in alphabetical order and we're gonna begin with the national vote first and we're gonna compare them. We're gonna see where the nation is at. And right now, based on 748 polls, Trump has a 0.6 percentage point lead on uh, DDHQ slash the hill. It has remained pretty steady at around this margin, decreasing a little bit, but Donald Trump has not lost his lead according to DDHQ. And same thing for Real Clear Politics, where he has, you know, gone up and down a little bit, but still maintains a pretty consistent lead ever since he took that. He took over in, uh, you know, late of last year, and he has not lost that lead ever since. Um, there had been some pretty close polls back and forth. And in the five-way race, we see Trump actually has a pretty decent lead on rare clear politics, inclu you know, including all these third-party candidates. He's up 2.2%, and that lead is very steady, going over the same thing on real clear, uh, sorry, on DDHQ slash the hill, including RFK. We can see that Trump does expand his lead a little bit. So this is very interesting, but now we're going to go to the states as a whole, each state individually. First, we're gonna go over the state of Alabama, and Alabama has not really had too much polling, so it's gonna be going down as safe for Republicans. Next, we're gonna be going to the state of Alaska, which also hasn't really been seeing too much polling, but the polling we do have does show a safe margin for Republicans as well. Next up, going to the state of Arizona, we're gonna be using uh, Real Clear Politics for this, and we see that Trump has a 4.8 percentage point lead, but we're gonna be using the five-way race. He has a 6.2 percentage point lead, according to uh, Real Clear Politics and all these polls, pretty considerable lead. That's gonna go down as likely Republican. Next up, going to the state of Arkansas, not really much polling. It's gonna be going down as safe for uh, the Republicans. Next up, after the state of Arkansas, we're gonna to go to the state of California, where we do have an aggregate. Joe Biden leads by 23 percentage points. It's going to be going, going down as safe for Joe Biden. Next, after the state of California, we have the state of Colorado, very favorable state for Democrats in recent years. Biden is up 7.1 percent, which is down considerably from his 13.5 percent percentage point win in the 2020 election, but still nonetheless going down as likely for Joe Biden. After the state of Colorado, we're going to have a few more safe Democratic states. We're going to have the states of Connecticut, uh, Delaware, and the District of Columbia that are all going to be in the safe margins for Joe Biden. All these states over here don't really have too much polling. They're going to be going down as safe for Joe Biden. Sorry, that's not Joe Biden. That's Joe Biden. And next, after we have those states, we're going to be going down to the state of Florida, which has seen you know, a pretty hard shift to the right. Uh, Joe Biden, Donald Trump, sorry, leads by 6.3 percentage points on average. The last poll had him up by only four, but the one previously had him up by 10. So um, DDHQ does take into consideration the latest poll in more than the other ones, but still nonetheless, he is up by 6.3. It'll put in the likely margin for him. After the state of Florida, we're gonna be moving on back to reclare politics to go over the state of Georgia. And in that five-way race, he leads by 6.4 percentage points on average, which is also in the likely margin. This is very crazy because, you know, D Joe Biden had won the state of Georgia 
uh, four years ago. He had won it by a barely, barely, a, you know, small tilt margin by, you know, 12, 11,000 votes. So it's very fascinating that, you know, this time around, you know, Donald Trump is up by such a considerable amount. After the state of Georgia, we're going to have the state of Hawaii. There isn't too much polling, but it's going to be going down as safe for the Democratic Party. After the state of Hawaii, we're going to have Idaho, which also is going to go down as safe for the Republican Party. And then after the state of Idaho, we're going to have Illinois. And Illinois has you know, seen a couple polls that have been pretty close. You know, went against Kennedy, against uh, Trump too. It's been uh, a lot closer than usual, but nonetheless, this is still going down in the safe column for Joe Biden. After the state of Illinois, we're going to have a couple more safe states. Indiana is going to be safe for Donald Trump. And then moving on past Indiana, Iowa is also going to be, uh, it's going to be lean for Trump because, you know, they haven't been adding them too much polling. There, there was a poll that was released out of Iowa that had Trump up by 18, but for some reason they did not include that. I don't know why they didn't include it. You know, this poll out of Zogby, which is an outlier, has them up by only two. The previous polls, however, have them up by 11, 16, 10, 9, and 12. But nonetheless, we got to be very fair and transparent and put this in the lean column for Donald Trump. Moving on to some other safe states, the states of Kansas, the states of Kentucky, and the state of Louisiana all will be going in the safe column for Donald Trump. So Kansas, Kentucky, and Louisiana all in that safe column. Moving on to a, it's going to be a kind of competitive state this time around. It's going to be the state of Maine. The first district will be going down as safe for Donald Trump. And then the, from, you know, the other polls that we have, it is very mixed around, but Donald Trump actually does lead on average. If we include all of them together, he does lead by a tilt amount. And then that first district will be going down as actually likely for Joe Biden. So very interesting polling out of Maine over here. And then after the state of Maine, we're going to be going down to some safe, safe Democrats, say Maryland. And Massachusetts will be go, both going down as safe for Joe Biden. Moving on next to the state of Michigan, which we'll be looking at on Real Clear Politics. The state of Michigan, Trump is up by 0.1 percentage points. And that will barely put that state in that tilt column for Donald Trump. Very, very narrow lead that he has on this map for the state of Michigan. Next, we're going to be going to the state of Minnesota, which very interesting because da Joe Biden only leads by 1.5 percentage points. And Joe, uh, Donald Trump actually had that lead for a little bit. He had led by around one percentage point. But due to this poll, a couple other recent polls, Joe Biden has retaken that lead, but it remains in the tilt column for Joe Biden. And let me point out that this is the exact same margin that Hillary Clinton won her won in 2016 in Minnesota. But nonetheless, we're going down now to a couple more safe states, the states of Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, and Nebraska will all be going in the safe column. So Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, and Nebraska, all except that second district, we will be going in the safe column. And for that second district, we don't really see too much polling, but all in all, Joe Biden does lead by a lean margin according to the polls we have out of Nebraska's second district. Next up, one of the most important states, important swing states on this in this election year is going to be the state of Nevada. Now, in the state of Nevada right now, Donald Trump has a 5.7 percentage point lead. Another one of these Sunbelt states that have not really shifted too much at all in Biden's favor. In the five-way race, he leads by 6.5 percentage points. And once again, that has been pretty unchanged throughout the whole cycle. And he leads every single poll. This state will be going into the likely column, joining Arizona. Arizona and Georgia. Very, very surprising to see the Sun Belt so Republican. But anyways, next now to a state in the Northeast, the state of New Hampshire. Joe Biden won the state by around seven percentage points in 2020. This time around, polls have tightened a little bit and Joe Biden only leads by 3.7 percentage points. That's going to be in the lean column for Joe Biden. And next, after the state of New Hampshire, we're going to be going over to the state of New Jersey. And in New Jersey, there has been a few polling that had shown that uh, this state is actually a lot closer than usual. And I, we actually have not seen a poll that has uh, Joe Biden up by a safe amount, as we can see here, up by only nine over here, up by only nine over here, too. It's going to be going in that likely column for Joe Biden instead of the safe column. 
Next, we're moving to Arizona, and we recently did actually get a poll on Arizona, on, sorry, not Arizona, on New Mexico, and we did actually get a poll recently out of New Mexico, which is really, really good, and you know, I've been asking for one, and we did get one, thankfully. It had us buying up by seven, and this is going to be going into the likely column for Joe Biden. Next, moving up to the state of New York, another state that should be extremely safe, won by Joe Biden by around, um, I remember, around 23 percentage points, but this time around, polls show it within a likely margin, possibly even a single digit margin. This state's gonna be going only Biden plus uh, 10, Biden plus nine in that likely column. Very surprising. In North Carolina, actually we're gonna be viewing it on Real Clear Politics since they do have their aggregate. 5.3 percentage points, but we want to look at that five-way race. He is up by a staggering eight percentage points. And once again, we see that domination that Donald Trump has among this, these Sunbelt states. All of them so far have been in the likely column. Very surprising. But moving on next to the state of North Dakota, it's going to be safe for Donald Trump. So we're going to be filling it out in the safe column. Next, the state of Ohio, which I expect Iowa to follow suit a little bit. Trump is up by 8.4%, which will put that state in the likely column. Next up, we're going to have the state of Oklahoma, which will be in the safe column for Donald Trump and the state of Oregon, which will go in the safe column for Joe Biden. And now let's check up on our map. Donald Trump has 209 electoral votes. Joe Biden has 192. We still have 137 electoral votes that have not been yet allocated. Next up, however, is probably the next, the most important state in this election, the state of Pennsylvania. And right now, Trump has been leading at least six, seven polls, eight polls in a row. And he has maintained that pretty good lead while back then, you know, Joe Biden had had a lead and it was very narrow, but Joe, Donald Trump has really, really pulled ahead. He's up 2.3% with just the two-way and 2.9% with that five-way. This is going to be going into the lean column, not the tilt column for Donald Trump. Next up is going to be the state of Rhode Island, which is going to be a safe state for uh, Joe Biden, not going to be really close there. However, it could end up being a little closer than past elections. South Carolina is going to be safe for Donald Trump, as well as the state of South Dakota, also safe for Donald Trump. Not much polling out of there. Next up, moving on to another safe state for Donald Trump is going to be the state of Tennessee, where Trump is up by 24.8. That's going to be going in the safe column for him. And next, a very important state, but a state that Donald Trump is looking very, very favorable in, the state of Texas, where Trump is up by 8.1%, a pretty solid margin. He leads some polls by the double digits. However, this state is going to be going in the likely column. And this completes our Sunbelt map where we see here that Donald Trump has a likely margin lead in every single one of the state. Meanwhile, if we remember back in 2020, he lost Arizona, lost Nevada, lost Georgia, and only won Texas, Florida, and North Carolina by a lean or tilt margin. So definitely a lot has changed in the Sunbelt region. In Utah, there is not really much polling, so it's going to go in the safe margin. And then the next state on this map, which I already have filled up, is going to be the state of Vermont which is going to be going in the safe column for Joe Biden. Next up, moving on to a pretty surprising state, the state of Virginia, where Donald Trump actually has a 0.2 percentage point lead. This will put the state in the tilt margin for Donald Trump. And we can see here the past three polls have had the race in Virginia actually tied. Meanwhile, another one released in April has Trump up by eight. The ones that have Biden up only have him up by a by a lean or tilt margin. Biden plus one and plus four, for example. So very fascinating how Donald Trump is actually up in Virginia by 0.2 when he ended up losing the state by 10 percentage points back in 2020. So this is going to be going into that uh, tilt margin for Donald Trump. Next up, we're going to have the pretty safe state of Washington. However, we have seen some polling that had been closer. Biden is only up by eight on this poll and eight in this poll and 16 in this poll. So on average, you know, basing all these polls together, he is only up by a likely margin in the state of Washington. However, I still expect him to win by that safe margin. After the state of Washington, we're going to have the very safe state of West Virginia. Not much polling. Trump is up by a safe margin. After the West Virginia, we're going to have the very crucial state of Wisconsin, where Trump leads by 0.3 percentage points on average. Very, very close race. 
It's pretty narrow, but let's remember that this state is so overestimated for Democrats. If we check on this day in history, we can see that Biden was supposed to win by seven. Clinton was supposed to win by 11 and ended up being a less than one percentage point win for either side in the 2016 and 2020 elections. This state will, however, go in the tilt column for Donald Trump. And the last state is the state of um Wisconsin, uh, sorry, in Wyoming, which also will go down as a safe state. He leads by 41 percentage points in this poll here. And this is going to be our final map for the polling, according to DHQ and according to the Real Clear Politics averages. Donald Trump has 327 electoral votes. Joe Biden has 211. Donald Trump expands his map. He flips Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia easily. He flips Pennsylvania in the lean column. He flips the states of Michigan, Wisconsin, Virginia, and Maine at large in the tilt column. So this is a very favorable map for Joe uh, for Donald Trump. Sorry, and this will be the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. 